Have you ever hit that system update button on your home server's underlying operating system and watched the progress bar crawl and then log in back into CaseOS only to be greeted by a disheartening error? Maybe the app store is blank or you're seeing a cryptic failed to load apps message. It's a sinking feeling and it's a problem many in the self-hosted community have faced, especially after upgrading to a newer version of Debian or Ubuntu. The common advice? Downgrade your Docker installation or roll back your operating system. But that's a huge pain. But what if I told you there's a one-line fix that can save your setup and get your app store back up and running without any mad rocket science or risky rollbacks? Stay tuned, because we're about to fix Casa OS. Okay, let's get into it. So this is my CASA OS interface. And essentially, we're going to poke the belly of the beast. Now, in I've SSH'd into my DXP4800 Plus server. It's running Ubuntu server. And then it's got CASA OS on top. So I'm going to run the command sudo apt update. So we've got 40 packages that can be run to update several docker containers containers io it's quite a few i haven't updated this for a little while just for this video so it's a big jump now bearing in mind i do back up using the three to one method you might have noticed i have duplicati here and i've literally got um this backup system on the go both of them backing up in the last three hours that's because i have two nvme samsung 990 pros in the dxp which i back up every night they're in raid one mirror so there's no redundancy with that and then i also have all my other docker containers back up as well everything is backed up to my main storage array and i've got uh, raid 5 there's three discs in there i think it's like 35 terabytes something like that so i'm confident that everything i need to be backed up is backed up and i would employ you to do the same thing before we move ahead but you might be in a situation where you haven't done that before you don't have backups and you're just left with a non-functioning system so let's go for this let's do sudo upgrade and don't forget the apt this is on a ubuntu server by the way so we're updating all the packages on our ubuntu server security firmware more importantly docker and we've already got the fail to load apps error this has been freaking out a lot of people especially in experience or new self home labbers so there are several system restarts being deferred we're going to do a system uh reboot now we're logged out so we'll log in and of course this is where the big issue is so everyone's upgraded They've come to this problem and then all of a sudden it's, what the hell's going on? Why can't I get access to any of my apps? One thing I am going to check to see is if I can get on my Jellyfin to see if it's just the user interface. Okay, so Jellyfin is still starting, so give that a few seconds. Oh, there we go. So it looks like that the apps themselves are still functioning in the background. There's nothing compromised in that area. What about Prowler? Yeah, Prowler's come online. So all these things are working fine. So you're saying, Keith, what is the problem? Well, if we go to the um, issues log here on CaseOS GitHub page, you will see <laughs> absolutely filled to the brim with fail to load apps. What's going on? What's going on? Every, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people, the same on Reddit absolutely overflowing and people are saying you know why why haven't they fixed this what's going on is the project dead um if you look on the release page of casa os you'll see that the last release was 0 4 15 on december 19th 2024 well we're about a month away it's the 23rd of november at the time of recording here and we're about a month away from that being a whole year with absolutely no updates. Now, apparently, I haven't verified this for myself, but through a lot of reading, the Ice Whale tech team, or the Zima OS team, or whatever, essentially say the project's not dead. They just 
haven't found any reason to update it in a, in a while because it's so stable is is the thought process behind that but there might be something else going on there they also designed and run zima os which is the difference is is that zima os is built from the ground up on top of debian as a read-only operating system whereas cas os is more of an overlay for most linux distros that you could install it over and the other thing between Casa OS and Zima OS is that Zima OS has a paid option, a paid plan. And that got me thinking, is it more a situation that the team are focusing on Zima OS because it's generating money? It's a completely valid motive. Now they distance themselves from that. And, you know, they're saying it's just a stability issue. Updates will come but very little information from the actual team on that. So, you know, it could be a case of, and then there's a lot of users out there saying, well, should I upgrade to Zima OS? That depends on your use case, because if you look here, Zima OS has some limitations, such as in the free version, four hard disks, or disks in total, it could be NVMEs or SSDs in that, and three users. And you might think, well, that, that's acceptable for me because I only have X, Y, Z users, X, Y, it's only me and it's, I'm only using some. But the point is, are we starting to see basic accessibility of our own hardware paywalled? Because if you think about it, you should be able to access as many hard drives as you want, it's your system. But I digress. How do we fix Casa OS is the problem. So if we do the command sudo make directory hyphen p etsy system md system docker dot service dot d make the override comp file and I'll leave all the links in the description below. And then all we've got to do is copy this text. Service environment equals docker minimum API version 1.24. Control O on the keyboard to save. Control X to exit. And then we've got two other commands to run here. sudo system cdl daemon reload and sudo system ctl restart docker. The apps have miraculously fixed and everything's back working again. So that's the quick fix. Uh, if you've skipped to this part of the video to, to, to check out that fix, then there you go. That's exactly how you do it. And it's as simple as that. You don't need to roll back any changes. You don't need to downgrade docker. You want to maintain app security the important thing at this point is to double check all your apps do work with the latest version of docker because you might need to roll back to the older version of docker if it's your apps that don't work but not because casa os wasn't displaying them correctly essentially it's as simple as that so as always thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one